All right, everybody, what is going on? We are taking a look here at the new EZA Physical TUR Goten and Trunks. This unit is pretty good. They came out after the sixth anniversary. Uh, they were the they were the first unit after the sixth anniversary, and they came with the same name update back in the day. Uh, this was a big deal, right? Because you could run just like a full team of Goten and Trunks characters, and it actually worked pretty well back then. So um, here they are with their EZA. They lead Gifted Warriors and Kamehameha. They were like the introduction of the Gifted Warriors category back whenever they came out um here's the thing with this character the way they kind of work is they have a bunch of rng procs in their kit um for how much of their passive is activated so they have two separate 70 percent chances to get an extra 100 percent attack and defense on super attack um and then they get oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry they have an addition the 70 percent chances they have an additional let me let's show it uh, right here so they have a 70% chance to get an additional 100% attack and defense at the start of turn, and there are two separate of those chances. They get 150% when performing a super attack. Um, they, you know, have a high chance to crit. They've got a chance to dodge. Uh, they build up more attack and defense with each dodge or attack received, and then they also build up more dodge with each attack received or dodge. So they can get up to a total of an... 80% chance to dodge because it'll add to this medium chance right here, which is pretty good. Um... And then this 100% right here will add to this 150% on super attack for a total boost of 250%, which is pretty good. Um, the nice thing being is that this 100% will be active at the start of turn after they dodge. Um, and then if the entire, what is it right here? All allies in the turn are Kamehameha. They do get an additional 30% chance to crit and 30% damage reduction, which is pretty good. Um, so we're going to show them on a couple setups in this video. The first one is just going to be on the Super Saiyan Trio team. Um, I'll try to get them on a full rotation of Kamehameha characters, but we'll see how that goes. So um, here's my build. Just last thing before we actually hop into the showcase and get going. I've got 22 dodge, 11 additional, and 3 crit. Um, so far off camera, I've had a really, 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 really bad time uh, getting this unit uh, to actually do hidden, um, like, or just to do additional attacks. They have a high chance in their passive, and they have just never hit that for me, and then I don't really get the hidden potential as well. Um, how you guys should build this character, I would say just go for dodge and additional. Uh, crit really isn't gonna help you out so much since they already have a 50% chance to crit built in. Um, plus, if you're on a full Kamehameha team, you do get up to an 80% chance to crit, so really nothing is helping you out there, like, you know, whereas dodge... It is diminishing returns as well, but at least the returns are, like, greater, right? Like, if you dodge an attack, that's generally going to be more effective than um, critting, generally. And then the additional is nice, but... Uh, anyway, this unit does have a unit super attack. We're not going to be able to see it on this turn because we don't have another Goten or Trunks on rotation or a Krillin on the team. Uh, one thing I would really like to see before this celebration ends is I would like to see the tech Krillin that released alongside this unit get their sub EZA. Um, that would be really, really good. That character was great whenever they came out. Uh, he's got some damage reduction. I think he could have a really competent place on movie heroes. Um, there are, what is this? One, two, three, four... Five. So there are five attacks in slot one right here, so we should be able to get fully built up. As long as they don't eat a super attack and die, we should be good right here. Um, we won't worry about the trio in the middle. Let's just focus on getting Bulma her support. So let's grab those. And um, so we do have Bulma support up here. We do have the trio support up right here. Um, all right, please dodge this one, fellas. No, they don't. Okay, well... Hopefully this doesn't one-shot us, but, you know, that that is the risk of this character, right? Is that they only start out with a 30% chance to dodge, and we die immediately. Got it. Okay, cool. One second. All right, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This, uh, this tree... Oh, dude, are you kidding me? Look at this attack. We had perfect attack placement, and, uh, these guys just decided not to dodge, and then they decided to super meet immediately. That is the weakness of this character, right? Is that they do need to build up. They have their turn three active skill if you have another Trunks or Goten or Krillin. Or is it just Trunks or Goten? I can't remember what their active skill condition is. Uh, Trunks or... Yeah, Trunks or Goten on turn three. Um, so, uh, you know, that's great. But um, anyway, it wasn't turn three, so we couldn't use the active skill right there. We also didn't have a Trunks or Goten on rotation. But that is the weakness of this character. They need to get hit or dodge five times. And... You know, so it was like, oh, perfect, five attacks. Then they opened with the super attack, and the 30% failed. Then my 22 dodge and the hidden potential system failed, which is just unlucky, right? So, um, anyway, that is that is the weakness of this character. Like every TUR, they just have these random built-in weaknesses like that. Um, this one's not overly glaring, I guess. Um, that, that was kind of a high-pressure situation for them. But again, I wanted to get them built up. So, here they are at a 21 million attack stat. That is pretty good. 
one nice thing that these two, uh, or these, yeah, I guess two kids uh, do right here is they are giving a two turn support buff, uh, to all allies with their unit super attack buff. So they're giving a 30% two turn support buff attack and defense. So that is nice. Um, that, that's just going to pair in well with all the other support we have running around on this team. So we have Bulma's two turn support. We have both trios two turn support. We have their two turn support. Um, we're going to have the Gamma's support just on rotation. And then potentially if we get their standby and, um, you know, the like the Gamma 2 Sacrifice, then we can get their two-turn support as well. So this team is just swimming in support. So even though it's not a full Kamehameha team, we don't have like all of the um, extra crit and damage reduction activated for having that full rotation. Uh, I do think it is worth it, dude. Can we please get through the passives? You know, they, they changed it to where all of ours show up at once now. You used to have to click individually between all of your character passives as well. Why can't they do that for bosses? Why can't all the boss ones show up at once and then all of ours show up at once and it's two taps instead of click, 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 click. Like, it, it, oh, come on. Dokkan. Get with it, man. Like, I, I, is Omatsu really sitting here like, ah, oh, yes, I wish to read and play out the boss news. No. Like, let, let's 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 get on with our lives, guys. Um, anyway, I'm going to start getting the Gammas into their standby right here. Um, you know, shouldn't be a big deal, but that, that's just what I want to start doing right here. Let me grab those orbs. And um, hopefully, by the time we get the Gammas back on rotation, we can use their standby, all that good stuff. So, um, anyway, we'll cut. We'll be right back. All right, we're back on rotation right here. And sorry, guys, I, I know I tend to be like, you know, Yappington from Yapsville in these videos, but, you know, just things to talk about, right? Um, so here we go. This is going to be a good rotation for them. I believe both of these Goten and Trunks' support. Um, so what is it? Uh, come at my hot category, allies, key plus one. Uh, attack and defense plus three, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Listen, they get, they, they like support or something if these guys are in rotation, so... Uh, I guess we'll keep Trunks around. I think Trunks has slightly higher stats. I, I don't know if it's the equipments that I have on Trunks or what, but Trunks just has slightly higher, like, defense, I think. So, we'll keep him around. Uh, let's go ahead and use their active skill, the little, uh, you know, tykes right here. Let's use their, uh, let's use their active skill. You're gonna regret Bro. You're gonna regret ever looking down on us! Go, Ten! Show them what we're made of! <laughs> no way that's like actually Goten's voice actor, right? Like, did they just go to a daycare and record that? <laughs> anyway, um, so their active skill, extremely powerful, and it's going to be good um, for a while, so long as that there are other relevant Trunks and Gotens. Uh, these two are pretty good. They can get up to, what, 80% damage reduction as long as there's another Trunks or Goten on rotation, so... Uh, they should be decent for a bit, you know, it's not going to be perfect, they're still going to be prone to taking some pretty big damage, uh, because their defense isn't that crazy, but, you know, um, this unit really relies on having another Trunks and Goten around, and it, it's not like they're uncommon, but they're also not, like, we don't get one all the time, we did just get this free-to-play Trunks, I haven't done a video for him yet, he is pretty solid, um, maybe I'll bring him in one of these runs, we'll see. Anyway, uh, they have a 100% chance to dodge now, so we should be able to get them fully built up. They won't be built up for this first attack, but next turn on turn 6, they should be fully built up, ready to go. So, uh, we'll just have them attack Vegeta, just because. I mean, he has, like, the biggest health pool anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll just have all three of them attack Vegeta. So, let's see what we get up to right here. Again, this isn't going to be a crazy attack stat, uh, because we haven't gotten much build-up done yet, but we'll, we'll see what they've got in them. So, 28 million is what they start out with right here. Um, again, this is the unit super attack, so it's giving a two-turn support buff. You can only get the unit super attack once per turn. So any additionals that we get are going to just be their normal super attack. Nice. Uh, so 31 million here on the additional. We could get one more, potentially, please. Hidden potential? No, we don't get it. Okay. And we also didn't get any crits. Uh, we had like an 80% chance to crit there, and we just uh, did not did not get it. So that's cool. We love that. We love that. Um, hopefully these guys crit. Uh, come on. Come on, Twerps. Take them out. Let's do it. Uh, this isn't, like, this isn't going to do any damage. Type advantage, 80% damage reduction, two-turn support from these guys. Pretty good. Um, I think the highest attack stat I've seen from Goten and Trunks so far is a 50 million. Uh, I think I might have recorded it. I, I don't have it up as a short, um, because I didn't want to upload two back-to-back -back Goten and Trunks shorts. I might put that one on Twitter, though. Um, but I, I, I did get them to do, like, a 45 into a 50. That was pretty crazy. And then they, of course, got the hidden potential normal. But even that was, like, a 25 or something like that, so... Um, 
yeah, so this next turn should be really crazy for them as well because we're going to have the Gamma support up. We're going to have both of these supports up and we're going to have Bulma support up next turn. So uh, I'll cut right here. And again, we're going to come back and it's going to be another really crazy turn for those two. All right, so this is going to be a really crazy rotation right here. Um, I'll probably go ahead. Let me turn the skips on real quick. Let me go ahead and drop this. Um, we'll keep Gamma 1 in slot 1 right here for Gamma 1 support. I don't think he'll take out Piccolo. I, I don't think he's got it in him like that. So um, let's go ahead and grab those. And then we'll keep Goten and Trunks in the middle slot. So they're going to be getting everything active except for Prodigies. We're going to be getting... So currently we're getting Gamma 1 support because he is supporting um, Joined Forces category characters. So we're getting 50% support from him. Uh, we're getting the 77 support from these guys. And we're getting the Bulma 37% support right here. And I believe we're getting the Trunks support right here. Six out of seven links activated. Fully built up. Uh, can I throw any more buzzwords at you guys, right? Like, like, let's see what they've got in them right here. Again, hopefully Gamma 1 doesn't go crazy and take out Piccolo. I, I don't think he can. I mean, maybe, but, you know, let's just, let's see what Goten's got, uh, Goten and Trunks. After this, I may cut, and we'll come back maybe against, like, Cell Max or something like that. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully Goten gives us a really good, or Goten and Trunks give us a really good showing right here. So, 38 million. Um, I think we were definitely missing some of the 100% procs right there because I they should have been like way higher right here, you know, 45, 50 million even. And of course, we only get one super attack out of them. Uh, that is another kind of like flaw in their design, by the way, is that uh, their additional attack, if I go back over to their kit real quick, right here. So they have a high chance of launching an additional super attack. This is not how you want to read this. What you want to see here is launches an additional attack there's a high chance to be a super attack that's how you want this written uh, because that would get them a guaranteed normal every turn so at the very least it would give you a better chance of proccing your hidden potential super attack so uh, be we don't have that that's why a lot of the times you'll only see these guys do a single super attack maybe that's why some people say you know oh you want to go a ton of additional on this unit and i just like i don't I don't see it personally. I, I don't. I don't think it's worth it. I think just maximizing their dodge is, is what you want to do, um, especially as you guys saw at the beginning of the fights. You know they can be susceptible to taking a ton of damage. So you know people go crazy for additionals, and it's like an additional generally is not going to be the difference between you winning and losing. If they had another two turn support buff on their twelve, like on their normal non unit super attack, maybe I could get down with additionals a little bit more, but. Not whenever you can only get the unit super attack once per turn. So anyway, I'll go ahead and cut right here and we'll come back. If I think the next rotation is going to be worth it to see, I'll play it. Uh, but this Goku goes into like a phase where he only attacks once per turn. So it's really not that crazy. But um, anyway, if, if I think it's worth it, I'll go ahead and play it. Uh, but if not, we'll just uh, cut and we'll come back whenever... Um, maybe in like the Cell Max event or maybe Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku Evolution Blue Vegeta. That one might be really good because they attack quite a bit. So um, we'll see. We'll cut right here and we will come back with more footage in just a second. All right, I guess I will show this. This isn't going to be a great rotation for them, uh, but we are going to have Bulma support active. So uh, listen, I'll, I'll throw them in slot one right here. We'll see what they get. Um... Uh, I don't know. They're at 648k defense right here. That is a lot. Um, part of that is I did get 16 orbs with this guy last turn, so they're getting quite a bit of support from that. Um, all right, let's do... I mean, I could do this. I, I think Gamma 1, you know, he's got enough in him that he could survive right here. So let me do this. I mean, this will max us out. So let's grab... Let's grab those. And then... Let's go ahead and grab their key spheres, just however many. Uh, it doesn't matter. So let's grab six. And then we'll pop Bulma's active skill. So this will be Bulma's active skill. Um, Bulma's support. They're getting a lot of two-turn support. No Trunks and Goten on rotation, though. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I, I don't think Gamma 1 has it in him to just absolutely obliterate this Goku right here. He should be good enough to where I'm not worried about him tanking here. Uh, maybe I should be, but... I mean, because this Goku guaranteed supers every turn... Uh, but Gamma 1's got quite a bit of damage reduction, and he's getting the super attack first. I mean, he's a Carnival LR, right? Like, he, he, he should be able to stand firm here. It's not like this is type disadvantage or anything like that, so... Oh, he just dodges, sweet. There's the full dodge build, and yeah, only 23 million right here, so... Yeah, I mean, that's just the difference between having a Goten and Trunks on rotation. Again, I don't... I don't know how much of their passive is activated right here. I could have done a bunch of math to figure it out, but... Uh, just know that it's probably not a lot. 
At least we got a double super that time. That's pretty good. So, um, there we go. I'll cut. We'll come back. Uh, maybe Super Saiyan Blue Cow can Goku Evolution Blue Vegeta. We'll see. Okay, so here we are up against Super Saiyan Blue Kao Ken Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta. And of course, dude, they stacked all their attacks in slot three. Um, I mean, this is good. We'll still get to see them eat uh, three attacks right here. So that's pretty good. Um, we do have this Gohan on rotation. I didn't play the intros or anything like that, but we should have his intro animation activated um, because we do have enough Ma Majin Buu Saga characters on the team. Um, this, this unit right here this unit and this unit are all on Majin Buu Saga. Uh, for some reason, they decided not to give this unit Majin Buu Saga. I, listen, they're real inconsistent about when they give that out and when they don't. Um, I thought they were, like, back whenever this unit came out, people were like, oh, they're just, like, finally establishing, like, that the movie characters aren't also on the Saga category. Uh, and then th this unit came out recently and was like, ah, oh, no, JK. Oh, excuse me. JK lol they actually are just on movies and the saga so like uh, <laughs> I don't know um, anyway Goten and Trunks right here let's see what they've got in them uh, hopefully Goten doesn't eat a super attack oh but anyway this guy's entrance animation does give all allies 58% defense for two turns so we're getting a little bit of extra defense support from them right here um, since both of our other trio units are on the other rotation, we're not getting support from them yet. No Bulma. We are on a full Kamehameha setup right here, though. So we should have their extra crit and damage reduction activated right here at all times, which will help them out a little bit. So, um, let's go ahead and grab these orbs right there for Goten. Make sure he gets a super attack. Uh, and then we'll just grab those AGL key spheres right there for Gohan. Um, by the way, this unit does activate Gohan's unit super attack, so we can get that here. So they start out at a 22 million attack stat. I mean, that's been a pretty common number for them all video. Hopefully they give us some additionals that would be really nice to see I, I would like to get at least one here and they don't okay cool so now they're up to a 50 percent chance to dodge and a 60 percent chance to dodge with that attack um so we got one out of three dodges right there the first one we had a 30 percent chance second one was a 40 third one was a 50 um but now we have built up to a 60 percent chance to dodge plus our i don't, I don't want to call it a full dodge build but a weighted dodge build, or a build weighted towards dodge, I, I guess is what I'll say. Um, hopefully, Gohan gives us a bunch of additional super attacks right here. Uh, um, that would be really cool, and not just a bunch of normals. Because uh, he's probably in for a ripping. They they are probably about to tear this guy open. Like, uh, poor, poor guy is getting put in the swing. Uh, listen, the, the, like, bar is out, wrapped around his ankles. I don't know, what do you want, what do you want me to say? Like, like, Gohan is about to just get torn open. Like, let's see. Oh, no, here it comes. All right, buddy. Let's see what you got in you, Gohan. People like to say that this Gohan is underrated, so let's see. Let's see what he's got in him. Ooh, 512k. Not too bad, buddy. Hopefully, there's not a second one coming in at you. All right, not too bad. No double super attack. Thank you, guys. Um, we can go into the family Kamehameha standby immediately. I think I will do that um, just because it's, uh, like, it'll it'll prevent us from doing more damage. I, I do want to go a little bit slowly through here, so let's go ahead and pop that. Nice. Get all those Dragon Balls out there, buddy. Um, okay, so what do we want to do? Let's grab these. I guess you guys don't need to see this part, but I'll, I'll leave it in the video anyway. Uh, let's grab those. That'll make sure that they get an 18 key super attack, which is important. Um, I'll put mine in slot three. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, I, I can't imagine. Like, the friend's rainbowed. Mine's not. But, oh, they do have their full defense equips on them. So, eh, whatever. We'll grab those. Uh, I'll go ahead and cut right here, and we will come back. Hopefully, we survive. Um, I, I have a good feeling about it, but we'll see. Yeah, if the super attack is on Gohan, I mean, that's great. Obviously, Gohan's not going to take damage here. Um... But yeah, I'll go ahead and cut, and we'll come back whenever Goten and Trunks are back on rotation. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this is a great rotation for them, by the way. This is a good spot to use their active skill as well. Um, because we, we can't use it in the final phase or the second phase against Evolution Blue Vegeta. And we got a lot of attacks right here. So this is a great place to use their active skill. I'll go ahead and play it again just because, you know, it's their video. Why not? Um, but yeah, obviously, again, this is a, this is very valuable, right? Just having this on turn three as long as there's another Trunks or Goten around. Uh, really good, really good. You're gonna regret ever looking down on us. Goten, show them what we're made of. <laughs> all right there we go okay, dude. i i get that goten is like two years old but you know <laughs> it's just funny right like i don't it, it's not like i'm not like listen it's not like the voice actor it's just uh 
it's just like the choice, right? Like he sounds like Trunk sounds like the appropriate age. Goten sounds like uh, literally those are his first words. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and grab these. Again, they have a 100% chance to dodge here. Um, hopefully they uh, give us some good stuff right here. They need what? Two more dodges to get fully built up because we got three hits in last turn. Uh, so they need two more, which they're going to get right here. So this is going to be fully built up. Again, we do have both of the 77% supports up. And we have Goten and Trunks on rotation at only 23 million. Dang. We must be getting really, really bad luck with their 70% chances. Uh, this next turn, I'm going to have to calculate it. Because uh, these attack stats are much lower than what I'm used to seeing from this unit. And only one attack again, man. Come on. This unit is cursed for me. I know everyone else is, like, running around having just, like... A really good time with them and I'm just sitting here I'm just sitting here wondering when I'm gonna get my additionals man please Goten get one oh no all right we we get to find out what Goten's made of right here he's got a lot of support hopefully there's no super attack but the odds are against him oh uh, come on one more okay we're good whoo whoo we're good okay um yeah no reason I mean I guess we could pop this but no reason to um I might pop Gohan's doesn't Gohan's give a support buff for two turns what does what his active skill do? Uh, ultimate damage, keep plus four, 58% defense. Oh, he gets 58% defense for one turn. Okay. Um, yeah, no no reason to use any of these active skills or anything like that. Um, let's just uh, let's just charge up and get these guys out of here. So let's grab just like those. Uh, let's grab these. This will give us some healing, which will be really good for us. And then again, I'll go ahead and cut. And we'll just come back in, like, one second after... Well, actually, there's no reason to cut right here, right? Like, we're literally just gonna watch, like, two attacks. Maybe the boss supers us, and then we're gonna super them, and then we're, we're on to the next phase. So, we'll, we'll see how Goten and Trunks can do... Oh, that's a nice dodge. Um, I did change my Gohan build up a little bit, and then I also rainbowed him. So, if you haven't... I don't know if I've used him since my initial showcase, at least on camera. Um, but yeah, he is rainbowed now. I had some really good luck just getting the last two copies of him, which was really cool. Um, I basically got like back to back, back Goku Black Rifts and then, um, uh, what's it called? I don't know. I, my brain is dying. I can't think of anything. Uh, can we use their standby? Cause I probably want to, uh, no, because it's the same type as Gohan's crap. Okay. Well, here we go. Maybe I, I will go ahead and calculate their defense right here and figure out how many of the 100% buffs we have activated right here. All right, everybody, so here we go. I did a bunch of math. This is gonna look like a bunch of nonsense to you guys probably, but that's okay. Let me go ahead and just walk you guys through um, what exactly is going on here. Also, how do I get this to like left align on Google? Hang on one sec. There we go. Sorry, I had to find like the left align button. I know where it is on Excel, but I, I couldn't anyway. Um, so here we go. So my Goten and Trunks, if we go ahead and take a look at this, have 12,028 defense. We're on a 200% leader, so we take that multiply by five. And then we have prepared for battle activated, which is their only um, defensive link. And so you can see that we are at 447047 or 447078. Um, oh, but prepared for battle, You're right, you take this multiply by 1.05, so anyway. Um, so then I took their defense, this is what we have in game, alright, and my job here is to now figure out how many of our buffs do we have activated. So, the first step that we have to do is divide out our 100% buildup. So if I click back over on their passive right here, um, this right here is a multiplicative buff um, to what they get at the start of turn. So this is currently activated right here, um, so we have to pull this out. Um, in order to figure out how much of this we have at the start of turn, right? And so that's what I'm doing right here is I'm taking 447078 and I'm dividing it by two, right? Because if you have 100% buff, that means you're getting whatever defense you have plus 100% of it smacked together. And that's going to give you the 100% like buff. So we take that divided by two. And so their true start of turn defense right now is 223539. Right, and so now my job is to figure out, okay, how much are we getting buffed? So this should be our defense, right? And this, or I'm sorry, this is our defense before any passive buffs, and this is our defense after our passive start of turn buffs, uh, is 223, 539. And so if you take the 223, 539, and divide it by the 63, 147, you get 3.54. Now that's our multiplier, right? So we would take this, multiply it by 3.54, and we get 223,539. Now our job is to figure out what is making up this 3.54. The first thing is the base, right? So just like I mentioned up here with a 100% buff, right? If you take this, 
or if you take this 223, 539, and multiply it by one, right? Like, if you just take that, multiply it by one, you get the same number. But if you wanted to see our total defense, you would have to take it, multiply it by two, right? Because you include the base. It's the same thing here with the links, right? We don't just multiply this by 0 0.05. That would just give us the buff that we're getting. We have to include the base, and so that's why there's an extra one right here. So, we take the base right here. And then we know that we're getting double 77% support up right now, which is also why it ends in 0.54, okay? So that gets us immediately to 2.54, right? So that means we are only getting the 100% buff right here that we get at the start of turn. We did not get either 70% proc chance right here. If we had gotten both, we would have gotten to 5.54. If we had gotten to one of them, we would have been at 4.54, but we didn't, right? So if we add up these right here, we get... 1 plus 2, or plus, sorry, 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 0.7, plus 0.77 is the number, 3.54. So, we missed two great chances for extra buffs right here. We, we missed both of those right here, so that really sucks. Um, but that's, that's about how this video's been going. But just wanted to kind of walk you guys through that process um, of how we, you know, came to those numbers, where they're coming from, all that good stuff. Uh, I'll just keep these guys in slot one, I guess. Hopefully Vegeta doesn't super immediately, uh, because they are coming off of a floating rotation. They do not have their, um, they don't have their 50% two-turn buff up. I wasn't able to get them to full 24 keys, so we don't have that either, which really sucks. Um, let me grab those keys here right there, and I couldn't really put anybody else in slot one right here. Maybe I could have gotten by with Trunks, but his starter turn defense is so low, I didn't want to risk it. Um, so we'll see what happens right here. Again, just hopefully he doesn't super in slot one all right well this might have been a lot of math and a lot of talking just to get one shot but we'll see hopefully they're built a little bit different oh we barely survived okay Woo! and we died okay nice love that love that um let's hop back in all right we're hopping back in and we got them on rotation one no go tender trunks though on the rotation which means we can't get their unit super that is another reason i really want that tech krillin to get an easy a is because you can get the tech krillin unit super attack if krillin is just on the team right so if he was here that would be very very good but obviously krillin is not here um i don't think it's worth it to put these guys in slot one to try to greet out well it is two extra hits i thought there were only three attacks in slot one but it's actually four i'm gonna be greedy Listen, it's their showcase. Let's throw them in slot one and see what happens. They're really not a slot one unit until they're fully built up. It's pretty, I don't want to say unwise, but it's definitely not like recommended to just throw them in slot one at the beginning of fights like this uh, because they're they're not built up. Like, they're not ready to go. So, I, I guess I should have calced and seen how much defense we had at the start of turn. You know, I do have my little formula set up on the side now, so I really just have to change, like, the defense number, and then it should work out for me. Nice. That's a really good dodge. At least they dodged the super attack right there. They ate the normal took a lot of damage but they dodged the super right so that that is what matters they got mostly built up right there next turn we'll have their active skill for the 100 percent dodging um so we'll see we'll see what happens um maybe i don't know that i really need to see them eat a super attack they're gonna be really good against you know all bosses that don't cancel dodge, they're going to be pretty good against. Even the bosses that do cancel dodge, I think they should be all right as a slot 2 unit, just depending on how many procs of their defense you get activated. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I, I did mention it earlier in the video, right? But there, one thing that's a big misconception with this unit I see going around in like a lot of other people's showcases is they'll see this unit start a turn defense after they've gotten all five of their dodges in. And they'll be like, whoa! And like, they're just like, you know, they get 150% super, like 150% defense on super attack, right? Like, and people just like nut and explode and everything like that. But the thing is, is that that 150% is not a direct multiplier to their defense if they have any buildup, right? Like, so if they have any dodges or um, hits in, you can't just take that and multiply it by um, 2.5, right? You have to actually take out what they've gotten from dodging or getting hit first, and then you add those two together, and then you multiply by the new numbers. So um, I'll show what I mean here on this next rotation. Oh, we have intros on it. <laughs> I forgot. Um... Sure, I'll play this and then I'll cut. My brother's here! Thank goodness. I made it. 
All right, we're back on rotation right here. And again, we are going to be able to get the guaranteed dodging. Let's go ahead and proc this. So we got four hits in last turn. Oh, man, hang on. The court will come back in just a second, guys. In the meantime, let's go ahead and talk about what's going on right here. So any any day the court wants to come back. Okay, so they are at right now 608-104 um, defense. Now, one other support that we do have up right here um, that I do want to remind you guys about. One second. There we go. Sorry, I had to resync the audio. Um, but we do right now have the AGL Gohan support buff up right here. And again, I have already mentioned it, but um, what is that? 58% defense uh, that he gives for two, two rotations? Three. Two turns. So all allies, 58% uh, defense for two turns. Okay. So we have that activated right here. So that that is another support buff right here. So 58% uh, from Gohan right there. And so 0.58. So let's go ahead and calculate what they're at. So we aren't fully built up right here. So we have to divide out the 80% on this turn. Um, so divide out the 80. And so our, let's divide by 1.8. And then this should be 608104. Okay, so what are we what are we at right here? Oh, I, I should link this cell. This is E198. There we go. So we have a 5.35 buff right here. Um, so again, that's going to be the base. It's going to be these two supports and Gohan support. Um, and then, uh, no, sorry, sorry. It's actually going to be um, one of the 77s. We don't have the other. So last rotation was what? Goten and then both Gohans. So we actually have one of these Gohans and then the, and then the base, right? So we're starting out with that. And then we need the guaranteed... So it looks like we actually have all of them. So 5.35 right here. We actually have all of our, so this got, we got both of the 70% procs right here. So this is the thing I wanted to talk about in terms of their defense real quick too, is that you guys see they're at 608-104. A lot of people are like, boom, you take that, right? They're, they're going, all right, you take the 608, you multiply by 2.5, and then you're going to multiply by uh, one point. Actually, it'd be 1.8 in this case for their super attack effect. And then you... Let's make that a normal number, please. Thank you. Um, and people are like, oh, they're at 2.7 million defense. Like, but no, that's not actually what you have to do. Um, so the first thing you have to do is you have to divide out the 80%. Because the 80% that they have from building up adds to the 150% that they get on super attack. Those go into the same phase. Typically, whenever you're looking at characters' defense stats, you have start a turn buffs, and then you have passive, what I call, I call it passive phase two. I don't know like what the correct term for it is, but you basically have passive phase one, which is the start a turn buff, and then you have the um, passive phase two, which is gonna be everything else. It's gonna be like your, um, you know, when performing a super attack, when dodging an attack, when getting hit, um, anything like that that's not activated just straight up at the start of turn, um, you know, like for free, is going to be things like that. So, uh, all those go into the same bucket. All that to say, um, in order to calculate the defense right here, what we have to do is we have to take this number, right? So, the 608-104, we divide that by 1.8, and we get the 337-835. So, we would take that, and we would have to multiply it by 80% plus the 150%, again, plus the base factor, which would be 1. So, that would be 1 plus 1.5 plus 0.8 is going to be, what, 3.3, I believe? No. Is that right? Hang on. Uh, <laughs> let, me, let me do math here. 1 plus... Uh, 1 plus 1.5 plus 0.8 is what we're going to multiply by right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, so here we go. So this is the base factor. This is the 150% on super attack. And then this is the 80% that they get from dodging, right? And so you would take all those and multiply it by the 337, 835. And that only gets you up to 1.14. And then they do get 80% on super attack. And so this is what they would be at after one super attack. After two super attacks, they would be multiplied by 2.3. Um, the reason it's 2.3 is we get 80% on our first super attack effect, and then we get 50% on each one after. So we would go from 80 to 130 to 180 if we triple super attacked. And so that's what this 2.3 is again, is that would be 1 plus 1.3. Um, so... 2.5 and then if we somehow luckily for the first time ever in this video got a triple super attack again that would be multiplied by uh 2.8 right so you can see it there's 1.8 that's 80 percent 130 percent and then 180 percent is what that would go up to so we would cap out here at 300 or 3.1 million defense uh and then the other thing that we could do is you know we are going to get our last dodge in on this turn 
And so this is actually going to go up a little bit more. So we're going to be a little bit over 3 million defense, potentially, if we triple super attack. Um, but I just wanted to kind of clarify how all their buffs were working together in tandem. So if that confused anybody, the big takeaway here is that the, you have start a turn buffs and then you have multiplicative buffs. And sometimes multiplicative buffs, like their 100% whenever they dodge, can appear at the start of turn. But it's important to know what buckets your buffs are falling into because you don't want to fall into the trap of thinking that a unit has way more defense than they do because you're seeing a multiplicative buff active at the start of turn. It's important to know where these buckets fall and how much defense they're getting from each effect. So I just wanted to clarify that. So anytime Trunks and Goten are fully built up, before you consider that 150% that they get on super attack, you got to divide out um, the 100% buildup or the 80% buildup or the 60%, however much they have, right? You got to divide that out first add it to your 150, then multiply up. So just wanted to clarify that, talk to you guys about it a little bit. So anyway, uh, well, I'll stop yapping. I I, I know, listen again, I, I'm King Yappington. I, I'm sorry. Um, let me keep going. I just think it's important to get that information out there because it, 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 misinformation spreads so quickly in the Dokkan community. Like it's actually ridiculous. So 33 million is what we get up to right here. Not bad, not bad at all. One of the more impressive attack stats that we've seen in this video. Uh, again, hopefully they triple super for us. Nice, we could do one more right here. That would be really, really good for the showcase. You know, for all the people who stuck with me, listen to the yapping, come on. Oh, they didn't, they didn't do it. At least we're fully built up now, though. So you could see down at the bottom what they would have been at if we were fully built up. They would have been in the 38 million attack stat. Um, very nice from Goten and Trunks right here. I'll definitely take it. Um... Again, very, very powerful, easy ATUR. Uh, sorry, this video this video is very long for a video that doesn't have very much footage, but it's got a lot of educational value, right? Like, that, that's what people are here for. They're here for the education and uh, nuance of uh, learning about Dokkan, right? That's, uh, that's what everyone's here for. You know what really sucks, too, about this Gohan real quick? I, I, I do want to mention this uh, because I haven't gotten to mention this in a video yet. Uh, but he actually, so he starts out with All in the Family, like right there. He loses that whenever he transforms. Like, why, why does he lose that? I get that he gets Kamehameha, but, like, get rid of, like, Golden Warrior, man. Nobody cares about Golden Warrior. Get, get that out of here, you know? Okay? Listen. All right, we'll cut, and we'll be right back. All right, here we are on rotation again, and let's go ahead and take a look at their defense. So they are at 349, 832. If we go ahead and type that into our spreadsheet... We can go ahead and take a look, and they are at 349.832. Um, so that's giving us a buff of 2.77, which means they're getting the base 177% support buff from last turn, and then they're just getting their guaranteed. So this is another turn where we failed both 70% chances again. I don't know how that keeps happening, but we, we have failed both of those again. <laughs> um, I feel like we're either failing both or getting both, and there is no in-between. Uh, I guess I'm gonna throw Trunks in slot one because he's type advantage. He has some damage reduction. These guys would get eaten alive in slot one, so... I mean, that, that's what I get for going into a dodge-canceling boss, I guess. That's that's on me. Um, but let's uh, let's see how they do right here, all right? Let's, let's see what they've got in them. Come on. As long as he doesn't super before Trunks gets to super, we should be fine. Okay, Trunks should be good after he attacks. I mean, he's got 80% damage reduction post-super attack right here, um, so I'm not very concerned. But we'll see. We will see. We will see. All right. Double digits is good, obviously. Um, and they are at... Oh, no. Sorry. That's Vegeta supering. Okay. Uh, this should be fine. I'm not I'm not too concerned here. And 84k. Very good. Very good. Very good. And they're only at 20 million. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what happens whenever you fail two 70% procs for an extra 100% stats at the start of turn. Uh, is this been, like, the most unlucky video ever? I feel like I wish I had been tracking this the entire time. Uh, you know, I think I've shown their defense most of the time. So if you guys want to use kind of my little formula that I've got set up right here and tell me, like, what their buff is on each turn, like, if you can just kind of take, you know, whatever I showed their defense to be, divide out their buildup, and then divide that by this 63-147 anytime. Just make sure they had prepared for battle active on any of those turns. Um, if they didn't have prepared for battle active, then you would only use this defense right here. Uh, you may have to adjust it a little bit if we had, like, Bulma support or something like that active, right? Like, I crossed out Gohans right here because it's no longer relevant, but uh, just kind of add those up. And if you can just let me know what the buff was on each turn, that would be uh, interesting stats to come across, like, 
How many times did I fail 70% chances in this run? Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and proc both of these active skills, and then we're just going to end the video here. Um, I did already do a breakdown for them, and I don't really think I need to do another one after kind of doing, like, all the calcs in this video. So, we'll just play both of these active skills, and we'll go ahead and get out of here, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think about gunks, <laughs> and I'll catch you guys next time.